Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be adjusting the tendency sliders for John Cena in WE 2K23 to create a more realistic gameplay experience. As a WE fan, you know how important it is to have the accurate sliders for an immersive experience. Today we'll be deep diving into John Cena's tendencies, exploring his strengths and weaknesses, and fine tuning the sliders to make your WE 2K23 matches feel like the real deal. So buckle up and get ready to learn how to make John Cena come to life in your game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more WE 2K23 content. Before we begin, there are a few things we must adjust in the gameplay settings. Head over to gameplay and go to both balancing and advanced sections and adjust those sliders. Now, if you want sliders that will give you a realistic game, I suggest looking at my WE 2K23 gameplay sliders videos. I have two different versions on the channel so you can adjust them to your liking and give you the best realistic experience. For example, I explained more in a WE Sliders video on why it's important to change every single superstar's finisher, special, and recovery to 30. Now we will officially head over to the AI attributes and start changing those tendency sliders. Quick side note on the combos. Regardless of what the combo tendency is set for the superstar, just make sure that the towards, neutral, and away are all set to 100. This will ensure that the WE Superstar that you are using will always try to attempt to do the combo no matter which direction it's going and will not stop midway. Now let's start adjusting John Cena's tendency sliders. First off, you'll see that his combo tendency is set to 37 and submission is set to zero, but don't worry, he'll still be able to do the STF. This will just ensure that he'll do less submissions throughout the match. His light strike is at 86, his heavy strike is at 85, his light grapple is at eight, his heavy grapple is at 56, so you see you have more range of heavy strikes and light strikes. Then he has the ground strikes, which is set to 20. His ground grapple, which is set to 15. His elemental strike is set to 10. His elemental grapple is set to 6. Dive, 0. Daredevil dive, 0. In ring springboard, 8, because he kind of does the stunner. You know that ring in ring stunner he used to do. Ring side springboard is 0, though. Limb targeting is 0. Running attack is 24. Blocking is 0. Dodging is 23. Weapon usage is 5. Tail usage is 55. Possum attack and pin tendency is 73. Instant recovery is 5. Ring escape is 0. And his pin combo tendency is 75. Those are what my personal opinion are the best sliders that you can use for John Cena to give you that realistic experience. The tendency sliders that you just saw are thanks to the Hype Slash DC 2K23 project. They are part of the WE 2K23 subreddit, so be sure to follow their work as they have superstars that will not be covering in these tendency slider videos that are from different promotions such as AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now that we're done adjusting, here are some quick gameplay to showcase these tendency sliders. Remember, there is no one size fit all approach to tendency sliders. It's all about finding the right balance that works for you and creating the most enjoyable gameplay experience. So go ahead and experiment with different settings and let me know in the comments which settings work best for you. That's it for today's WE 2K23 tendency sliders video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.